what's that there? A magic pussy? <laughs> there we go, all right. Pretty good send off, lead in to what uh, appears to be another glorious thousand year reign of Rudy Lynn movie reviews, movie talking podcasts. It's a, um, you know, a normal temperature night, but it's been around 80 degrees the last three days here in Juneau, Alaska, so we've gotten used to the heat. So we decided to uh, catch something else hot. Something else hot and sticky. Mother Russia. <laughs> Do. Go on. Mr. Uh, I'll come up with something along the way. So we, uh, we saw Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow, the new uh, Jennifer Lawrence joint. What'd you think about her accent? Oh, it was it was really bad. It uh, wasn't terrible for oh, me, but it certainly wasn't good. Yeah, I, just from listening to the trailers, you can. Jeremy tell. Irons was way worse somehow. <laughs> His accent was well, way worse. Jeremy Irons had no accent. He, was he just... did a passable one in the fucking one of the Die Hard sequels. Yeah, he played uh, Hans Gruber's brother. In there was Die I Hard got Revengeance. hints of Scottish, hints of. Russian, yeah, hints of just English guy with a raspy voice. Yeah, this was uh, this was something else. Her uncle is gonna play Putin in a biopic <laughs> movie at some point. I guarantee it. Yeah. As soon as I saw him, like Jesus Christ, is that fucking Vladimir Putin? Well, I actually liked her uncle a lot. I think he's yeah, a good I actor. He was good. What His else has name? he been in? Um, I've seen him before. He was in The Drop with Tom Hardy. Didn't see it yet. Uh, he's, he usually do, does a lot of foreign films. Yeah, he's um, a Russian national, I would presume. Uh, he, His he's accent not was on all. point. What is it? He's um, he's like Danish or oh, something. Well, he or just, Swedish. He has a good accent, at least. Yeah, he's a really good actor. His name is Matthias Schoenarts. And, um, anyway. <laughs> do, go on. Don't let me sidetrack you any more than I need to. Yeah, so the movie is about... Jennifer Lawrence, she's a ballerina who gets her leg broken, and her uncle decides to pimp her out and make her. Yeah, I was gonna say that. That was one of my thoughts. Basically, she is a whore. Yeah, she. That's is, her only job. She's a spy, who is literally just meant to fuck dudes. Yes. <laughs> to get information. As the if you've seen yeah. a certain documentary about a religious cult. Yeah. I believe they called it friendly fishing. Friendly fishing, never They would it. send out these, uh, the hot chicks, they'd bring dudes back, fuck them, and try to convert them to this religion. I believe it was the children of God or family of God. Uh, sounds like a lot of cults. <laughs> Cult of Star Wars. <laughs> What'd you think? Did you enjoy the film? Um, no, not really. Me neither. It's, I was um, incredibly bored the yeah, entire it's, time. Yeah, it's very forgettable. That's kind of the main thing I would say. Um, it's meandering. Yes. Uh, very uneven. Very uneven film. A lot of and, unintentional comedy, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. There were definitely quite a points where we were laughing alone. Uh, yes. Sometimes I was just laughing out loud at the, the magic pussy. Uh, that was pretty which good. Which was pretty a great cute. line. Um, and, magic uh, pussy. <laughs> and, uh, but, I mean, the biggest problem that I have with this movie is, like, there's so many miscast people in this. That are just like yeah. totally awkward. Did you uh, to me. did you notice anybody who happened to be in a, a a BBC film based on a Le Carre novel that appeared recently, starring Loki? I noticed at least two people, maybe three, who also appeared in The Night Manager. Oh, The Night Manager. Yeah. Um. Oh man. The Which main guy's thinking? boss, he was only in it for like two scenes. Oh, yeah, he's an Irish guy. No, 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 no. He was a black dude. Or he might be Irish black dude, but the CIA. Oh, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. He sort CIA, of, he not, talks like a southern Russian. white guy, but he's black. That's why he stuck yeah. out to me. And then the the Russian guy, at the, her boss at the embassy. Oh, yeah. He was the... Yeah, he's, he's actually Irish in real life. Nah. Yeah. He can do accents pretty well. He's yeah, pretty talented. He, he, I don't know. I, I, he stuck out to me. Yeah. Where I was like, you're out of place. Like, why are you in this movie? Well, I thought he was weird. English. Yeah, and Jeremy... The guy uh, just... Because, yeah. You want to know why he was in this? And the other guy and the other chick who may have been in Night Manager or another espionage thriller? Because this wasn't even... This was a half a goddamn spy movie, man. There yeah. There was nothing... There was no intricate plot. There was no, no nothing. It was just, you must find out who the mole is. Yeah. 
Go find this man. Get close to him. Yeah. Show it, him your magic pussy. <laughs> and, and that was like, it felt like almost two thirds away from the movie that we get to the, oh, hey, you know, find them all. You know, it, was, it was the intro yeah. did take a while. It was kind of there's like, there's a lot of setup. Reminded me a lot of salt. Do you remember the scene when she's I in? I didn't remember that. She I don't remember the movie much, but it made me think of it. You know, Russian spy school. Yeah, but Salt is a way better movie than this, and I don't. I don't even like remember salt. anything about it. Yeah, it's just yeah. I would tell people right off the gate, uh, this is not an action movie yeah. at all. Do not go in thinking this is an action. I movie. I was happy when I when I thought um, that was the case. I'm like, oh, cool, It'd be like a that, real spy movie. That made it a lot easier for me to endure this movie because yeah. I was like, oh, okay, it's not. An I was action sitting there movie. waiting for something to fucking happen, man. Well, there's like, that. That's the thing is that you know, even if it's not an action movie, you should at least try to you know space out a couple set pieces. They had little like flourishes. They of had action, all the things but, that a spy movie has, but it like, it's hollow. It was really there hollow. was yeah. Hollow, not deep at all, and yeah. just they threw it in there. Like the scene with the, let's just say the discs. When's the last time you do you think spies are using fucking floppy discs? Well, that's first of all? that's what's weird is because when it starts, I'm like, oh, I is thought this it was like the a period 60s. Piece? Did you see the 80s, lights? There was a lights 80s. in the bar. I'm like, oh, this yeah. okay, cool. It's gonna be 60s or 70s. Yeah, and this then, is uh, this is not a period piece. People have smartphones, which yeah. I guess maybe the reason why they use floppy discs is it's. Maybe not easier to trace or something. That's maybe why. so. If it gets, I don't know. I just as soon as I saw those, that like that laptop. I doubt that laptop has a floppy disk reader. Yeah, I know that. That's a funny thing that he brought up, right? Because like the laptops don't even have floppy disk drives anymore. I don't think they they have for <laughs> they about barely twenty have, years. They they barely even have a CD ROM. Yeah. <laughs> drives, you know, like, especially was, on the Apple products. Do you though. remember the scene when um? I think she got money from the Americans and she was depositing it at a bank. She had on a, like a white coat. Her da hair was blonde. Yeah, it man. reminded me so much of uh, the end of uh, Dragon Tattoo. We go through. Oh well. The yeah. exact scene, the way it was shot. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, Dragon Tattoo. Yeah, well, that's that's an interesting thing to bring out because David Fincher was supposed to direct this movie. He was going to make it... It certainly would have been a lot livelier then. Oh, it would have been a way better movie. Cinema speaking cinematography-wise. Um, uh, also, Rooney Mara was going to be the lead, which Rooney Mara is, I think, a way better actress than Jennifer Lawrence. Like, yeah. way more range. I, um, I've i only like seen close. her in, like... Dragon Tattoo. Dragon Tattoo. And was she in that movie Lawless, or am I mixing her up with someone else? Mm, no, that was Jessica Chastain. Okay. And yeah. Mia Wazakowska, the girl from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. If you're listening, Mia, I'm a lonely boy, mm -hmm. and I love an Australian accent. Uh -huh. Perhaps we could throw a little shrimp on your Bobby. Oh boy. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> that, that ties me to another thing. It, it, also, if you're looking at this movie, and you're like, oh yeah, this is going to be like a great sex thriller, or this is going to be kind of a hot film. There was some no. sex stuff, but it wasn't really no, the focal point. It just is, was sort of there. It's not an erotic film at all. A lot of rapey scenes. Yes, there's a lot of rapey scenes. Um, which were sometimes comical, humorous. Do you remember? Yeah. She's at the spy school. They're like, all right, tell us what these men want. They show him a picture, tell him a description of what his charges are. What does he want in life? What does he want out of a sexual partner? <laughs> so she's like, uh, he's a degenerate. He wants to be with men. He's gay. Blah, blah, right, blah, 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 yeah. blah. I liked how they didn't, that girl was just sort of gone from the class and they didn't go over, they didn't like go over her leaving. I kind of like that. Nah, she just disappears, basically. But, uh... So they bring the degenerate. They bring in. the degenerate in and like, suck his dick. <laughs> he is not interested in what's between your legs, Mushka. So get pretend you are a boy for him. <laughs> he got all excited. The predator. He got all excited. You saw him. He's pants. He's like, whoo! He like jumped to she get the pants like a boy. down. I mean, she had like a. It was boy that cut. haircut. Yeah, it was mostly that haircut. Well, that's thought. the thing. There's so many terrible haircuts. I mean, and I, it wasn't a period piece. No, I, I mean, I guess she looks really good. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. I almost uh when she uh not when she was nude, her tits look kind of strange to me. Yeah, They're it, nice, but they got this weird sh floppy shape to them. <laughs> yeah. When she's just got on a bra and panties or like some lingerie, yeah, she, she looks, looks good as fuck, man. Yeah. I was ready to fucking jizz in the theater. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, there's that's the name of my autobiography. <laughs> right. Jizz in the to, theater. I was ready to jizz in the theater. Um, yeah, there's some nice ass shots of her. Yeah. When she's walking in the pool. I was hoping there'd be a the lesbian cleavage. thing. For the whole time, yeah. I was hoping I'd at least make out with her. That would have been awkward. That would have been awkward. You think so? Yeah. I, I would have been all for it. Yeah, I'm sure you would have. <laughs> What's up with dudes nowadays not liking two hot chicks making out? Man. I'm just, I'm not really super attracted to Jennifer Lawrence, honestly. She doesn't really do it for me. She used to be, uh, when she was younger, she had this sort of um, chunky face thing going on. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of her face, honestly. Yeah. I, I can just, see that. And also, I but hate... You gotta admit, I, her body's fucking rocking. Yeah, she's got a good body, for sure. You know, she's got nice curves to her. She's not, you know, a skeletal anorexic bitch. What do you um, hate, though? Uh, well, Were you about to say black people, you <laughs> fucking bigot? No, I, I hate bangs. I fucking hate bangs. They were, I noticed them too. They were kind of annoying. No, just bangs in general. I'm yeah. I f it drives me nuts. I'm like, this is so hideous. I mean, it could work, I guess. I don't really it's think just, about it much. It's just, you know, it's awkward to me. But, you know, there's Did a lot of... Did you like her know. better, black hair or blonde? <sighs> I think black. I think it was black. like brunette, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I'm not really into blondes either. I prefer redheads. So. I don't discriminate, but um, hey, I got preferences, man. Yeah, it's standards. Every, everybody's got his. Everybody <laughs> got their game, you know. Yeah. What's, uh, what? So the plot, the plot really had nothing. Nothing the, yeah, going on. There's not really a plot. It's, it's a movie. It's like a John a Carpenter movie, man. It's like John Carpenter. What the fuck are you talking about? Plot wise, like think about mm -hmm. Escape from New York. President's here. That's a ticking clock him. movie. Nah, yeah, this yeah, isn't yeah, a yeah, ticking yeah. clock movie. The time wasn't really kept that well. They'd just be talking and then be like, I've been on this case for months. Yeah. And then, uh, who was the Is lead? Jim, uh, what do you mean, the lead man? Yeah. Uh, Joel Edgerton. He's an Australian actor. Every time, everything I see him in, it's yeah. either he, bad or what, forgettable. He, he does not rock a beanie. He looked awkward as fucking a yeah, beanie. Yeah, he did look kind of strange. Yeah, he has like this vest on. It's just, he looked so awkward. The wardrobe for him was really bad. He had on one of those, uh, at the end, after a certain penetrating wound occurs <laughs> let's say the one he had on a dot sort jacket. of interesting scene yeah that was about to say that was as i'm sitting there watching i'm like wow finally something you know yeah, intense that, a little I, fucking like i actually moved in my seat a lot i'm like oh this there here's something happening and they didn't even have the courtesy to fucking end it there they kept it on with another fucking yeah another I, mole plot let's yeah. say we're gonna save spoilers because there's not much to spoil there's really. not much spoil but it is no. there's I saw, I didn't see that particular twist coming, but I basically saw where the movie was headed from the jump. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I was, I was, I was shocked at who the mole was. I thought that was, I mean, it wasn't well, clever. Well, they didn't, but... they didn't allude to no, it at no, all. There's there was no, no setup at all. It no, just sort of. It's just, hey, oh, here he is. It's the biggest name that, you know. Yeah, whatever. It's, um, you know, it's a forgettable film. There's not a lot of action. You know, it's like I said, it's it's not, you know, if you're looking for an erotic th thriller. She is a whore, but it's not She's like, not even really <laughs> that nude in the movie either. I, one scene. Yeah, one scene. And and that was like, oh, this is so much sex in this movie. It's like, is that what the uh, marketing was about? Yeah, it was like, oh, there's an ero you know, it's an erotic thriller. And, and it's like, Grasping no. at straws. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of pumped for this one. I mean, I wasn't, I'm not too upset. I, I'm, I'm not too let down because... You know, basically all new movies. I go in like, all right, the premise is good. Who directed this? Uh, Francis Lawrence. I don't he know who um, that is. he directed uh, Constantine. Uh, I am Legend. Were you excited for this? No, I wasn't really excited for it. I well, I was excited because I thought it was going to be like a an espionage sort of spy thriller. Yeah, I mean, when I heard her voice in the trailer, I was like, uh oh. She but, talked in the yeah, trailer. I don't remember. Yeah, I was like, her Russian accent just didn't work for me. So that immediately just lowered they my They mentioned Gorky Park. Do you know what I did like? Yeah. No English accents. Minus uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Irons. Irons. <laughs> but his wasn't on purpose. <laughs> He's just slipping in and out of accents. and Oh, man. They're, they're just... It, and <laughs> it's it's so funny because there's like one character that has like one line in Russian. <laughs> this yeah, it was, um, it was the like, guy who was on The Night Manager. Yeah. I forget it's, his... I uh, can't remember any of the names in the movie. Her uncle was good, though. Yeah, her uncle's really good. He's he's the only good part of the movie, in my opinion. Um, they had some big names. Siren Hines had, like, a small two or three scene role. Yeah, he's, he's that... Uh, isn't he the Irish guy we were talking about? What I was saying? 
No. That he plays the boss. He's like... he's the he's under the president. The guy I was talking about, who was on the night manager. Oh, you're talking about the president. Yeah, he's under the president. Oh, okay. The guy yeah. who was on the. I was night talking manager. about the guy under the president. That's the Irish guy. Yeah, that's Sirin Hines. Yeah. He was on. Uh, he was in Doubt. Wanted. Yeah, wanted. He, he was in Wanted too. Yeah. He's yeah. a good actor, he's but always I, good, he just but... he felt really out of place in the movie to me. Well, he that's... didn't get established or anything. He just sort of showed up every so often. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, n nobody really gets super. You Except know, for established. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, it's all about Jennifer Lawrence. But it's always the same sort of characterizations. My mother is sick. I uh, don't. My uncle make me do this. I don't have choice. Yeah. Do you think I have a better Russian accent than um? It's about on par. Well, there. <laughs> I have no formal training. <laughs> FYI. Um. Th th did you notice this? I, I, was, I was wondering. Cause there's so many shots of people walking in this yeah. movie. Constant. I felt like half of the movie is people walking. I was was there a like, lot of dialogue while they were walking? Usually no, not. No, there's no right? walking and talking. It's just walking, and it's like it's like she a trailer shot. She walked through that corridor into his apartment four or five different times. Yeah, it's, at least. Uh, yeah. Um, we're being invaded by I don't know some the squeaky, kind of weird aliens. The squeakies, the squeakies are unveiling, uh, invading us. They've come to uh, rape us to death. Yeah. Sad tale. Yeah, this is um, this is just really disappointing, and uh, I definitely tell people skip this one. Yeah. Don't don't pay any money to see it. For you, sure, you don't even ever need to watch this movie at all. This is like total non recommendation. The romance, the romance is what oh, really the, killed the it sex for scene me. Was fucking horrible between her and Joe yeah. Edgerton. Yeah, she's got her panties on. Yeah, and they're pretending to fuck. She has her panties <laughs> on, and then she just sort of reaches her hand down, yeah. down, but <laughs> down between her legs, and then, but all right, I guess we're in now. I guess, I guess we're fucking. And his expression is so funny. I wasn't saying like, it's. I oh. was kind of. <laughs> I was kind of I was kind of caught up in the gyrations of young Ms. Lawrence. Let's say. Oh man, I, it was too funny. I was just cracking up. And a lot, a that, lot of funny scenes. It, it was funny. I was the first person in this movie to start laughing, and then. Uh, and what, then what was the first thing you laughed at? Uh, the the magic pussy. That that was the, that was one of the floodgates, and I I couldn't help it. I couldn't keep it in. I kept laughing, and nobody else in the theater was laughing. Well, that's my experience at Shape of Water. That was my experience at Shape of Water. It, and nobody else found the fish fucking funny, I guess. <laughs> you can't paint, paint that in a good light. Sorry, Guillermo. But, um, yeah, and there was there's this other character who, who plays the swan. What, who, the she's like, oh my god. Oh, oh my yeah. God, like, make me a drink. Mary Louise Parker, <laughs> she didn't say it. She wasn't talking like that at first. I wasn't sure if that was Mary Louise Parker it was. or not. Yeah, yeah it was. She's, she's looking terrible. Well, you know, she gets old. She's old, man. It's yeah. just the way it and, goes. And, it, and she's just, that was the moment where both yeah. you and me were just laughing, laughing right out, out loud. loud. Like, and nobody else in the theater, except for this one guy in the back, she wasn't, started cracking up. She wasn't talking like that at all. Throughout no. the entire, she only had, like, maybe one or two <laughs> lines of dialogue before this but then we're talking about spy stuff oh my god get me a like, drink oh Boris. my god uh like get me a drink <laughs> there was this weird thing going on in the crowd that was like do you remember the cores uh or the budweiser lizards or the budweiser frogs there was these three oh, that, yeah, different the people yeah there was these three different people in the crowd who would react at randomly at random the stupid yeah. jokes like there wasn't jokes in this movie. Everything Sick was kind of stuff comedy. like um. The, the, there was it, was it was a bad crowd. Yeah. I mean, but anyways, the crowd every <laughs> every so often just be one guy, oh, the other one, ooh, <laughs> and then the next one. <laughs> yeah. That made me laugh at least once when I'm sitting there thinking like, this is the reality. You guys was, are like either on accident was, or by yeah, choice let's, in let's unison. Just, let's just talk about the theater for a second. The fucking guy sitting next to me, he comes in with like fucking hot dogs. He's got his nachos. Jesus. He's got his fucking drink. He's slurping. He's chewing. The guy next he's to me is doing the exact same thing the whole fucking movie. <laughs> you're, you're between two fucking munchers. They, the one and, guy uh, sat right next to me. Like, was there no spaces around? Oh, there was behind loads of room. The, the whole row the behind us was empty. That's what dude. I was saying. Why are you sitting right next he to me? He was probably man? lonely. He just needed someone to sit next to him. resist the sweet ass, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh,. There was like multiple. There was this one guy who was in our row. He gets up, 
he leaves. I'm like, oh, well, he just walked out. Yeah. And then, like, he comes back in, like, 35 minutes later. There was a lot of people <laughs> getting up and leaving. Exactly. They would get up. They'd leave. They'd come back. I guess they were, like, checking out another movie. And they're like, yeah, this fucking sucks, too. I Let me go so. back to Red Sparrow. There was these two girls <laughs> up right in front of us. Two two girls two over by Two people over yeah. by here. Yeah. We were, like, five minutes before the movie ends, they get up and leave. <laughs> yeah. They were like not you guys. Fans. You guys went through this whole fucking thing. At least yeah. you know. At least see it to the end. I guess they wanted to get their refund. They wanted to go to the kiosk and say, "Let me get my money back." You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. It was a bad film. The yeah. Romantic stuff. The romantic stuff. It just. It doesn't work. You don't buy their relationship at all. They have yeah. no chemistry. Even Joel, if you don't buy no. their chemistry, it's like you're trying to make a fucking spy movie, man. You're yeah, that's to make the thing, an exciting movie. You can't get bogged down in, oh, is she going to do right or is she really falling in love with him? Yeah, but, but yeah, that, that made no sense at all. I was like, wait, how is she like in love with this guy? Where did we get here? How, how yeah, is this it happening? was her job to, to uh, seduce him. They spent no real time together. They just no. talked for like, you know, two minutes. You said, hey, do you want to go to a Russian restaurant? Let me buy you dinner. <laughs> I like that scene where that dude punched her. It was funny. The oh, in the, the strip club? Manager. Yeah. Yeah. That that was, uh, yeah, that that was... See, there were so okay. many just random scenes that made me chuckle. Or I thought, that was weird or out of place. Every time I saw Jeremy Irons, I was laughing. He I was uh, like, did this, not do great. He, he was so bad. Like, with his glasses at the end, he kind of looked like Muammar Gaddafi or something to me. <laughs> he looked like a... When he first... his. Uniform, he looked like a fucking American or something. Oh, yeah, like, exactly. Is he an American general? That's in what I thought. Russia? When I first saw him, I'm like, wait, is he like in British uniform? Is he working with the Russians? And then you see on his uniform, there's all these Russian symbols. And, and then like, he, a few uh -huh. a few minutes later, after yeah. he starts talking, he kicks in his Russian accent. I didn't even know Jeremy Irons was in this movie. I didn't know anybody was in this movie. Until I saw except the, for Jennifer. Till, actually, until I saw the uh, poster, then I. It said Jeremy Irons on the poster. I was like, oh, wow, that's weird. Why is Jeremy Irons in this movie? To be a... Um, nice paycheck, I guess. Yeah. He's really falling off, man. He used to be a great actor, and he's just shit now. What else has he been in that's been bad? Fucking Batman v Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Justice League. Anything else? like Recently? Yeah. Mm. I can't think of anything. Except for Die Hard 3. I can't... I haven't oh, I seen him much. 3. I like yeah. the second one better. Really? Everyone... Dire 3 is way better than 2. This is on the second one, but I'd like it I like Dire 2, but Dire 3 is way better. It's yeah. not even close. John McTiernan directed 3. Same yeah. guy who directed 1. It's way better. Who did 2? Um, oh, God. Somebody... Rennie He's Harlan? A, yeah, Rennie Harlan, exactly. He, Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, man, it's great. It's fucking great. <laughs> it was really quiet a lot throughout oh, this movie. Very there quiet. was no... Very, no real, a lot, there was a, really score, much of a score, but it was it's really very, vacant throughout most of the it's, film. It's one of those standard Hollywood scores that it, it, you don't even notice You could it. plug it into anything. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know. It's, um... There's really no music in the A little bit movie. of Russian elements to it, but just only slightly. I honestly, I, I don't even think there was any Russian actors in this movie. It was just... You know, I mean, listen, you gotta sell a movie, but it's it's awkward. You know, it's like, oh, everyone's speaking and... Well, this kind of... The pace, the this movie there. had the perfect pace for a spy movie, but this isn't a spy movie. There's, yeah. There's got to be something... Like, she, she's looking for the mole. you got to start off with that. you got to kick that. That's the kicking off point of the entire movie. All right, there's a mole. Let's go find him. Right. Then you got to have some sort of a ploy or something. They had one with a floppy disk, but it was, like, way at the end of the movie, and there was no real... Yeah. No that was tension. honestly confusing me because, like, when you first... Why couldn't she get the fucking the... drawer open? Yeah, that was... It was, like, fake tension, but it wasn't tense at all. Yeah. You're just, like... At, at a first, lot I was of this confused. movie... A lot of this movie fake tension. You remember when like, Did roommate... they replace the, the table? Is this... Yeah. Is, like, is this... She's getting framed here or whatever? The one... The ten... The two minutes when she's in the other room, they just came in and switched the table. I thought yeah. that, too. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I thought of. I'm like, wait, is, is she getting, like, framed right now? The, uh, um, yeah. her roommate, she, um... <sighs> she was terrible. Yeah, not great. Ugh. She wasn't in it much, though, which is fine. She, yeah. um, when she's in her room going through her stuff, they do the classic, she's coming in, but Jennifer's still in the room. Yeah, oh, back. now she's coming yeah. out of the elevator. Oh, she's still in the room. Oh, she's at the door. She's still in the elevator. Yeah. Oh, she's at her own room door. Mm -hmm. Looks around like someone's in there. Oh, 
She's in the other room. Yeah. She's not in my room anymore. There's, there's quite a few cliches in this. And listen, you know, sometimes cliches are okay. They're they're cliches for a reason. Sometimes they're just yeah, good. They just work. But that it was it was awkward. You know this because there were so yeah. many of them. The whole point. You're supposed. I keep. I feel like such a fucking asshole when I keep going back to this. Like a spy movie, it's, there's got to be smart writing. There's got to be something clever yeah. about it. There's got to be something that makes you think like. Oh, whoa, holy shit, this the entire time, I'm just waiting for it to end. Yeah, I was also waiting very, for it to end. Very, very the... easily you could see what's going on, except yeah. for the same Russian assassin who somehow kept getting linked to her. I liked that guy, though. I like, liked him, but it's just the... weird, why would it be yeah. the same guy over and over? They're just taking He's this like the awesome guy, guy yeah. and making her watch, making well, his him first watch scene her. is awesome. Nah. Like when she's about to go to this See, academy. See, I got pumped when I saw oh, that. that was great. I got that was pumped a great when scene. I saw that scene. Because it was like, oh, wow, this is a great kind of action scene. There's tents, you know, they're mm. on the bike. But, um, you know, I will say this does feel like a poser David Fincher movie. Yeah. You know, it's it just really feels like a guy trying Very to make flat, a David Fincher movie. Except for when she's shooting somebody walking, there's... It's virtually no motion in the camera at all. And Jennifer Lawrence really doesn't do much yeah like as far as like there, she has one scene with a cane which is great <laughs> kind of okay. she just fucking is recovering from surgery she has the strength to beat these motherfuckers like t nearly <laughs> to death come on yeah that was she just she looked awkward what did the, the dancing man. thing have to do with anything the dance they could have cut that completely the out of oh it. my god no but it just it's Ugh. one thing if all right show her as a dancer she's dancer oh injured now she's got to become a spy they just kept bringing up dancing. Like, does it have something to do with the plot? Are we like, is it something thematic? What does it have to do with anything? Just fucking, she's done dancing. Leave the fuck alone. Yeah. I usually love dancing, guys. FYI. Yeah, it was It was very, you could very easily tell they had a ballerina there and they just put Jennifer Lawrence's hat on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, they didn't even have the same body frame. It was The like, dude in the beginning, was, was it the same dude who groped her at the ballerina session? The dude who, who, she, uh, who got, uh, who met the guy who's certain... like, oh, let's take a picture to, together. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even remember. A lot of strange things. They would, they did set things up, but like, not really a lot of payoff. It's not like, and, yeah, there's nothing, yeah. there's no, there's no excitement to it. There's no tension, so yeah. the payoff is meaningless. So I guess before we go into spoilers, nah. uh, We'll give. What's your recommendation here? I kind of already gave my recommendation. Don't see it. Don't um, see it. I if you come in here expecting just like a bring. If you need a movie to bring a girl to, or bring a dude to, I guess do that because there's the romance angle. You might get laid. I don't know. I don't. I don't think this is gonna make a chick hot. It's well, probably gonna turn her off more. I, <laughs> it's probably. not. It's not really a hot movie. It's you're right. Too shit. <laughs> So don't bring anybody. Don't bring a date to especially, this. Especially... That's my advice. Don't bring a date to watch this. Watch The Last Temptation of Christ at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, You'll no, definitely that, get laid. Yeah, absolutely. And then watch Eyes Wide Shut, <laughs> where things get real interesting. Don't yeah. watch this. Don't see it in theaters. Yeah. If you really feel like watching it, wait till it's on Redbox or on TNT once a week. <laughs> yeah, they'll be showing this movie on TNT Just like 24 Red. hours a day. <laughs> Mary Louise Parker is stuck on TNT forever. <laughs> Yeah, so my recommendation is, uh, yeah, definitely skip it. Definitely skip it. Avoid it. So um, we'll go into spoilers now. Uh, is there anything you really want to spoil, you want to talk about? Mm, start us off. I'm well, having trouble remembering. Well, I'll tell you what. The way they resolve the mole at, towards the end of the movie is terrible. Is really... We do all these cutbacks where it's like, oh, she placed this glass here. She Aww. used all that. And you go through. I'm like, I've seen that a million fucking times. And then movie. they just, That's they awful. didn't, you gotta set it up for it to, you gotta set it up. So They just they... throw that at you and it's so yeah. lazy. You know, the way she sets up her uncle. She and frames her uncle. As and, soon as uh... they show the uncle, I'm like, wait, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> they zoom in. Wait, I still don't know who it is. And then Joel Edgerton. <laughs> says she fucked him and i'm like i start uh, laughing because i'm like jesus <laughs> christ yeah what very the fuck yeah very awkward like the whole point was <laughs> they were gonna do the self-sacrifice end with jeremy irons turns out jeremy irons is the mole 
and yeah. he was going to give himself up so Jennifer Lawrence could be the new He's mole. like, make my death mean something. Yeah. Make it mean Continue something. Continue the relationship with the I'm, Americans. Don't let me die in vain for Russia. He started like one of those sort of <laughs> yeah. philosophical sentences. He's like, yeah. starts it off and then he goes... And it's the so, clumsy Americans. Right, and it's so he's so overly dramatic when you find out he's in the mall. And he's yeah. pulling out his little cigarette case. And, and the he's way it's shot, his yeah. cigarette case. And he's sticking a cigarette in his mouth. And it's like, it's like a noir movie, here. man. It's like a 40s I, I love that whole movies. cigarette case thing, but it's just like, give me a break, dude. Yeah. This has been done to death. And this yeah, that's what I'm saying. So fucking old, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tired. It's, it's fucking tired. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's a swing and a mess. It reminded yeah. me of Salt a lot. I, I don't remember. There's so much a more lot. action in Salt. Salt's like a straight up yeah. action movie. And, See, that's uh, what this this was. Salt without action. And the action was more effective. That it, the action it had was more effective. I'll yeah. give it that. Angelina Jolie way better Russian accent than Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> Not that that means who much. Played, do you know who played the Grim Reaper character, the assassin? He was always in black. He um, scraped Joel Edgerton's oh, no, skin in this off. Movie. Uh, I, a total unknown for me. Never seen him before. He's probably like an actual Russian. Yeah, it mm. could have been. I don't know. He was pretty good. I liked him. He was like that opening scene with him when he's you know killing that guy who's fucking her, yeah. and then they go into like the the, the parking lot down below and he just yeah. shoots that dude in the head. I was on thinking. The bike. I was thinking as it's happening, <clears throat> he starts raping her. He's like, no, slow, slow. <laughs> I'm like. All right, yes. he's, do, you, do you really need to make him a rapist? You're about to fucking kill him somehow. Right, yeah. Do you really got to make him a rapist, too? Yeah. You haven't even said what he do, has done against the state. Yeah. Uh, yeah, d disappointing. Swing and a mess. Uh, you know, we, we did laugh, but it was... It's really it's, boring. It's not one of those, like, It was so, laugh because I was boring, looking yeah. for something to feel. Like, you know how cutters cut just to feel something? <laughs> I was laughing just just to feel. I don't know. There, there was it was there was definitely intentional and funny moments in this, and um, yeah, it's uh, you know it's got some violence in it, but you know it, it's it's not like a super hard R. Like it's the violence is sort of reminds me of like No Country for Old Men. You know what I mean? It's sort of quick, more realistic sort of. Not yeah. Well, some... there's that great shootout in, in No Country. Oh yeah, you know, which is which is more kind of a realistic. Yeah, I, I guess there's not unrealistic violence in this, but um, more torture yeah. than. Um, and I'm not. I'm just not into that shit. You know, I, I like flashy action side pieces. I'm not into the fucking torture shit. I'm fine with the torture, but it just didn't lead anywhere. It didn't do anything. Yeah. The dude next to me, when um her leg breaks at the very beginning, spoiler alert, she can't oh, dance yeah, again. Spoilers. Come on, I'm trying to fucking do something here. Stay on board the Rudy train. The dude next to me, when her leg snaps or yeah. breaks or whatever, he fucking slammed his leg into the railing like jump really? scare. Like it vibrated the whole fucking thing. I didn't react because I like you, you I jumped could see because him. he jumped. I didn't jump, but I could oh, yeah. see because I could see he lifted his leg, man. Right. I like ooh, bang. And it looked so slammed it like a goddamn bad. gavel. Like the the CGI broken leg, yeah. I was like, this it wasn't is great. Awful. I didn't CGI <laughs> like that for a broken leg, for like the arm from Mad Max. Like I can look past if it's I not can't. great, but you know, because you could easily just have like you know a prosthetic broken leg there. It's like come on, yeah, come on. yeah, you're right. You know, but I mean, you know, it's not good. You know, there's there's not really. I, I can't really think of any more, <laughs> much else to say about there's, it. There's um. She gets raped also at the academy. But it's not really like, you know, she, there's never really a full, like, rape scene. You know, it's like she, she like, beats the shit out of the guy, yeah. you know, immediately, you know? There's almost rapes. Yeah, the, the, well, yeah, there's a, there is a You know a what the theme of this the movie beginning. was? I'm special. I'm special. That's, what's, that's what kept coming up. Oh, that yeah. She was special. She yeah, was different. There was that line. She's like, when she says to the main what else? Guy, what else would you point to? What else would you say that this is I'm about? I'm special. Uh, yeah. There's no real message. It's, you it's all know, place. don't trust any sides, I guess, but they didn't really, they just drop it on you at the end that fucking there's, Jeremy Irons is the, no, there's is no, the moral. There's no moral. There's no real, there's no real satisfying resolution to the movie either. It's just like. They could have had one if they ended it at, um, 
at that scene where Joel Edgerton is tied up and tortured and she almost gets killed, he almost gets killed, they end up beating up the assassin or killing him. And then it just ends. It goes to black, but then it shows her in the hospital and I think I I think I sighed or said, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I did hear you say. Because that would have been the say perfect that. ending right there. Yeah, it's it goes on. And the longer it goes on, the worse it gets. And it didn't start off great to begin with. The ending, no. almost that point, there's that one scene at the end where it sort of elevates a little bit. I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, at least scene, the ending yeah. was good. At least yeah. the resolution was yeah. tense, climactic. I mean, I but, don't know, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy almost has a better kind of ending with a sniper at the end. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy is a thousand, a million times better than this movie. Yeah, no, if I, you know, ever, I don't even If like you ever Tinker, try Taylor, to compare the ending unfavorably <laughs> to this and that again. No, I'm just saying. You said, I will put a bullet through your head. You said the ending was good, and I'm just saying Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, been. Sky ending was better been. than that. I love the ending. the same ending. I love the ending, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. That song is so... <laughs> the ending, I'm going to ruin Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy for you if you haven't seen it. Stop it. the video <laughs> and... um. You know, go watch it. Take your Taylor Soldier Spy. The ending, the moral is, nobody is good in this game. There are, nobody's going to mm. tell the truth. Everybody's bad. They just want mm. to get their get their thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I like that, because that's, I'm willing to bet that's probably what the spy game is really like. I'm going to yeah. fuck anybody as long as I get this, yeah. as long as I get what I need. Yeah, that's that's a better spy movie. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Didn't you like about it? Uh, it's it's just not the kind of spy movie that I'm interested in. That's the kind of spy movie I, I love. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. The yeah. pacing. There's good acting in it. You know, it's well. The thing is, like this is this pacing and that pacing for these two similar movies pacing. are very Both similar. Very similar. Almost. Pacing. That's why I say there's comparisons. Beat. But um, there's tension. And Tinker Tailor Soap Spy. There's the things they're saying has meaning. It isn't stupid. There is a little love story in it, but it's not. It's a side story. There's the only real story in this movie is Jennifer Lawrence. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is an ensemble movie. Yeah. You have Gary Oldman looking for the mole. You have Tom Hardy trying to save his own ass and get that one girl out of Russia. You got Colin Firth. Colin Firth. We're gonna we're done talking about Tinker yeah, Taylor. I'm I recommend it highly. Anymore. I think it's very good. Yeah, it's it's um you know, it's a solid solid film. It's not really my thing, but yeah. you know, it's not bad. Not a bad film at all. The And a lot of people really liked it. One uh Bud Critics. Anything else before we uh give our ratings? I uh, I can't think of much. It's it's it, like I said, it's very forgettable. Very boring. Yeah, it's boring. There's forgettable and it wasn't there's like boring. insufferable boring. For to me, me, it was because I felt Toward, like yeah, I towards could the know, end, the I, last I half felt an like, hour. All right, come on, like, I know exactly what's happening. Yeah. What's going on? I was definitely like, okay, just get on with it. I was like, hurry up, let's let's end it. Let's you know, let's let's go. But um, you know, I was getting a little restless like syndrome. But uh, too much time in spy school. Yeah. Or slut school, whore school, whatever you want to call yeah, it. I wasn't a, wasn't a fan of that. So um, what's uh, where, where are you falling falling on this one? Do this one five. Yeah. I liked Annihilation better than this. Mm. I had expectations for this, though. I thought it was going to be a good, <laughs> a good espionage spy movie. Yeah, I, uh... drinking game, spy or espionage or thriller. It's um really yeah, dull. It was really flat. Trying to emulate a a David Fincher film. I didn't think about it, but Very now poser, that David when you say it, I can, I can definitely see it. all the shots of like the snow when <laughs> cars are driving. A lot of muted colors. The, the beginning scene when they're, they're both on the bike and they're driving you away You know, for a movie kill. called Red Sparrow, I think I only saw the color red like three times. Yeah. In total. Yeah, so I'd uh, I'd agree with you. I'd give it a five. Um, it's average. It's, it's very forgettable. Very boring for yeah. me. You know, it's, it's just... You know, you're, you're not going to remember this movie. It's going to totally fade into oblivion. And like you say, it's going to fall on TNT. And it's going to be on like three times a day on TNT. For a couple months till DVD and yeah. Blu-ray sales and digital sales go up. Yeah, avoid this one. Avoid this one, ladies and gentlemen. There ain't no magic pussy. It's a lie. <laughs> Bring to me this magic pussy. 
supposed to make man wild with desire. With the magic pussy. Do you, you don't think I do a good Russian accent? I think I do it better than Jeremy Irons. <laughs> I just switched to like Hispanic halfway through, man. My uh, half I Hispanic, shoot, half Russian? <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't fucking break my arm jerking myself Get off the here. Vodka. Get the vodka. Vodka. Get the vodka. Vodka. Get the vodka. You get no V. There is no V in the Russian Get language. Get, vodka. Get the vodka. What else? There's one thing she said I had to say out loud because she was saying plus 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 plus. She um, it wasn't great. No. She didn't ever. Her accent was never terrible for me, but it was never, definitely never good. She was slipping on out of it, and yeah, no, terrible. Avoid, avoid. Exit strategy. Um. So you want to go to the bonus section? Yeah, let's go ahead. Do uh, do uh, 